a 40-year-old businessman living in Norway is flying from Oslo to New York City. There is a six-hour difference between the two cities. The, the flight leaves Oslo at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and it arrives at JFK at 4 o'clock, uh, correction, uh, basically what looks like two hours uh, uh, later. Actually, it, it arrives at virtually the same time. Okay, He stays awake the entire flight with the window shade up. At 8 o'clock in the evening, New York time, he is exhausted. Which of the following is the most likely explanation of his sleepiness? So here's a guy who's flown in from Europe. He arrives at JFK at roughly the same time that he left, and he becomes very, very sleepy. What is the most likely uh, explanation of his sleepiness? And here are the kinds of answers that you might find on an exam for a question like this. High adenosine level, high melatonin level, increased activity of the reticular activating system, increased histamine production by uh, the TMN. Now, this, this question is what I would call a high value question because it really tests a lot of things. And, and so when you see ex uh, questions on the exam, there's nothing in the question that's there by accident. It's either there to lead you into the right direction or it's there to distract you, but they will seldom put in something that is irrelevant. So what they are really asking for here is whether or not you understand some of the mechanisms of sleepiness. And here's the correct answer, high adenosine level. And, and basically, um, as you know, when you're, uh, when you're awake for a long time, the level of adenosine goes up. And the other answers are incorrect. However, you should be aware of the significance of why each of these answers is not correct. Okay? As an example, a high melatonin level, well, a high melatonin level um, is not the correct answer here because the melatonin is going to be suppressed by light and therefore this would not be an explanation for why this guy is tired after he's been awake for many, many uh, um, hours. And the uh, answer uh, C is not correct. For example, uh, the reticular activating um, uh, system, it wakes you up. It doesn't make you sleepy. And of course, histamine is something that wakes you up as well. So the thing that I want to emphasize is you need to understand the structures and neurotransmitters that are involved in wakefulness, and you want to know the structures that are and, and, and chemicals that are involved in sleep.